Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be making candle wax for your skateboard or aggressive skates. Um, the products you'll be needing is tea lights, I got a bag of this at um, Walmart for $5. A can, a uh, stirring stick to make sure all the wax is melted, I'll show you later. Crayons for a cool project if you want to do it. A uh, plastic bag to crush the tea lights and a mallet or hammer. Okay, so what you're going to be doing now is you're going to take one of the tea light candles and you're going to remove it from the tin can. All you do is you pull on the wick and it should slide out. Or not that. Sorry, wrong one. That was a fail. But what you're going to do is just grab it, slide it out, put it away, take out the uh, wick by pushing out, and there you go. You got one. And you're just going to do this through the entire time. Just take them out, remove them, pull them out. This is a fun project to do. Um, I like to do it by myself, but if you're a little kid and you want to do something with your mom or dad, this is a cool project to do with any type of family member that you have. And the tin, alright, there we go. Sometimes the uh, sides of the tin will be folded in like this. It's kind of folded in at the edge. All you do is just spread it apart a little bit and try to get it out. If you can't, use a knife, but I don't have one on me, so I'm just going to grab another tin one. Pull it out like that. I need one more. Pull out the tin. Put out the candle wax. And there you go. Now... You're going to take your tin boxes, put them away somewhere, and you're going to fill the plastic bag up with the candles. You're going to put them inside the bag. Make sure it is zipped up a lot, like fully sealed, or you'll get wax all over the place. Now. For the hammer, you don't need to slam on it as hard, just push down on it and it should break. You might have to use some force, because I'm on a chair, and it's not working, right? Just mash it up into a good powder. Like substance. Make sure you break it all up. This just helps the melting process faster. <clears throat> Alright, this is what it should look like once one is melted. Just a bag of uh, candle wax that's crushed open. Okay, after you have crushed up your candle wax, open up the bag. Now, I would use a stirring stick or a shish kebab stick. It helps you stir the wax around to make sure you fully um, melted everything. You're going to take it and you're going to pour your substance that you have broken up into the can or whatever you have. I, I would prefer a can because you're putting it in, in the oven at 300 degrees. It will help a fire not be caused during that. And now you could use crayons. This helps dye the wax. It's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, you can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to choose green and yellow. Green and yellow. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the paper off of them. And you're going to break it up into pieces. It's going to take me a while to remove the paper. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I would use a knife or a parent if you're little. Use a parent, but if you're at a young age and your parents, an older age, I mean, and your parents trust you with a knife, uh, you could just stab in the uh, paper.
Alright, and then you're going to start peeling the paper away. And once when you do that, you can break your candle, I mean your, your crayon, into small pieces. Doesn't matter how big or small you make them, just cut into pieces. Uh, there's still some paper on here, hold on. Alright, so you just like, take it at the angle, snap it about this size. Doesn't really matter how you snap it. Just, it'll help break up easier. And that's my candle wax, and that is the uh, crayon. I'm going to be doing this to the green one now. Green crayon. Nothing normal, just a crayon. And you can use a knife or ask a parent. Wow, that one came undone fast. Oh, nice. Now, it is kind of messy, so I'd put like a cloth underneath something or a cooking board, which I'm using because I think it's the best. It's easy to wipe off, and you don't want to get wax or crayon stuff all over the place. <clears throat> no. Break your crayon like that. Like that into pieces. Now I have all my ingredients inside the can for the next step. Okay, once when you're done uh, mashing up your candles and cracking up the crayons, you can start to preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Um, the candle wax and crayons take about 20 minutes to melt. So just check on it once in a while, um, have a parent help you out with the oven mitts, and you can start um, stirring it around with uh, your stir stick. But um, if you're at an older age and your parents trust you with the oven and you could remove it yourself, uh, stir once one is mixed. I will be showing a preview after, um, after I'm done this. Um, uh, you're going to have to pour vegetable oil in. I'll show you how much you're going to be needing. And after that, you could throw it in the oven, set a timer for 20 minutes, and see how it goes. Just make sure that it's like a liquid form. There's no clumps in it or anything. If you do, your wax is going to break up really fast, and it's not going to be good in, for your board or aggressive skates. Okay, well, since you have all your um, ingredients done, you're going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees, and you're going to need vegetable oil which I'm going to use, it doesn't matter what type of oil you use, and I'm going to use um, any type of silverware. You could use um, certain molds that you have at, the, at home, ask your parents if it's cool to use, and you're going to need some uh, paper, toilet paper, and you're going to just dab a little bit onto the um, toilet paper, like, uh, like that. This is only for uh, to help to get the wax out. Once when it hardens, you could uh, just wet the uh, bottom of it, so it'll help the wax slide out faster. It's that that's what I normally would use. All right. Once when you have um, done that, you're gonna pour some vegetable oil into the can. Okay, for the next step on making your wax, you're going to pour a cup of vegetable oil into your mixture. Uh, let's see, about that much. You don't really need a lot. The oil just helps you uh, melt the candle wax and your crayons, so it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, that's the mixture. Just shake it around a little bit, get it in there, and bring it to... The oven. Yeah, 
you want to check on it for about like five minutes ahead of time just to make sure everything's all right uh, this is after about five minutes or so you just want to look at it and it isn't really done it's still melting um, you don't really need to stir it around leave it in for another 10 minutes or so and it should be fully melted I'd predict maybe like seven uh, make sure you wear gloves or you use a utensil to lift up the can because it's pretty hot just wearing the gloves um, yeah, I'm gonna talk so don't talk all right after about 20 minutes uh, pull it out you should have a, a melted uh, mixture make stir it around and make sure there's no chunks in it which there are none so what you're gonna do is uh, shut the shut your oven turn it off and then you're gonna pour it into your your uh, container. container now you're gonna let that harden for about an hour or two um, I wouldn't touch the wax you're gonna get burnt but after you're done you should be getting something like this this one I made yesterday it's just a dark blue color and uh, I made this one yesterday also it's a purple and black and that's what you get